my clients all the time is how difficult it is to find really good people to build their team. So today's video is all about how to build your dream team for your business. And I'm going to cover off some fairly common concepts. And I'm also going to introduce you to something completely new that you can begin to apply immediately and it will raise the ROI on the people that you bring in and have working for you. So thank you so much for being here today. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that greatly. We're building out the numbers on the channel. And also there's a little bell that is next to the subscribe button. So definitely click that. And when I upload new content, you will get notified right away. So thank you for being here today. I really appreciate you being a part of this community that we're building for small business owners and mid-sized companies across America and across the world. And so it is all about growing your organization and getting the right people on board and being able to create the momentum that you desire to scale your business. Now, you know, I've talked about this before and there's a statistic that says that only 4% of small businesses ever become a thriving company. And a thriving company is considered to grow 20% per year for at least four consecutive years and more in order to be classified as a thriver. So we want to get you past that choke point of not having the right talent, not having the right people. And so today's tool is all about that. And it's really about having the right energy on your team or in your team or of your team. You see, most employers hire from a resume and there's a lot of value to that because you get to see the person's background, you get to see their education, you get to see their, their experience, you get references. But the problem with that is it's, it's very one-sided. It's very much about the logical, linear side of that person. And they can look fantastic on paper and they can perform well in the, the interviews, the hiring process, but then, you know, all of the unseen stuff that you haven't considered starts to come to the surface as the relationship develops and they become comfortable in their environment, in their role in your company. And it's not a whole lot different than a relationship, you know? You, meet someone and you've got your best foot forward you know you've got your hair cut and your makeup on and you know your nails done and then over a period of time it's what they call the honeymoon phase and it kind of wears off and then you begin to really see the person's habits and patterns and their level of consciousness or self-awareness so it's really important to know this before you get too deep into the relationship so that you have the right people in your organization that enables you to grow the company, to scale, to move the needle. And, you know, even most importantly, just a level of satisfaction and fulfillment and and joy of being a part of this organization from a contribution perspective. You know, what is it that I, as an employee, what is it that I can contribute to the growth of this company instead of just always looking at what's the company doing for me? So it, it is very much about a give and take process, but typically what gets overlooked or maybe not even considered because you don't know is the energies that you need in your business in order to create the growth that you would like to create. And essentially those three energies are broken down into connector, creator, and mover. So the connector is someone that will talk to anybody. They will um, 
be at an event or out and about or at a party or wherever in the gym and they just strike up a conversation with absolutely anybody. And this is a really great person to have on your team when you're looking to build out your sales organization, when you're looking to expand your brand and get your message out more and create awareness around your offerings, you have to have solid connectors and not people that are like terrified of making those sales moves or relationship building processes, but people that thrive off of that. It's like, it's what they live for. They can't wait to get out of bed in the morning so they can go out and connect to new people. So connectors obviously are really, really important, but here's the thing, if you don't have your creator and your mover in place as well, then the connector doesn't have any reason to make those connections or keep the connections and foster the relationship. Now the creator is like the visionary. So the creator, they have a hard time kind of staying on one thing. They're always moving, you know, they often get labeled in a sort of like tongue in cheek manner of being ADD or ADHD, but actually they are this constant creative process going on. So they're always thinking they're a visionary and they can see like this end goal of where they want the organization to sort of hit its stride and culminate and and they're able to to bring that and articulate it to the people they surround themselves with so that there's more than one person that is kind of at their side and helping them move that forward but those people need to be the right energies, regardless what that resume looks like, regardless what their past experience looks like, that those people have got to be people that are movers and connectors, or you've got a visionary that can't take their vision anywhere and that just kind of, you know, that's what the choke points are all about. It just keeps going around in circles and things just kind of stay the same and there's a lot of frustration that builds up. It becomes a bottleneck. So then you have your mover. Now the mover is kind of similar to the visionary, the, the creator, because they can see what the visionary, what the creator is communicating. And they can see it in such a way that they can build out the trajectory. You know, they can, they can map out the the direction that things need to go and and what's going to be needed in the future they, they have a great perception of what has to be put into place in terms of systems and processes and people and they can drive that forward in such a way that it all starts to make sense and this is this is like the perfect combination you know when you've got the creator connector mover and you come together to actually develop the process of growth and scale that's when an organization really takes on a life of its own an energy of its own and it starts to grow into its potential kind of without even trying. And this is really what we want to get to. My objective is to introduce you to this toolbox so that it takes the struggle and the, and the pain and the suffering out of building your organization. Now, it doesn't mean that these are three separate people necessarily. I mean, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. So don't get caught up in well, I'm a, I'm a creator and um, Joe Blow is the connector, so we have to go out and find somebody that's a mover and hire them. Not necessarily. It's really about the energy that your people that you currently have bring to the table 
and you maximize that. I'm all about the smallest change for the greatest result. So first of all, I want to encourage you to even take a look at what it is that you have in terms of energies already in your business and just get clear on it. Just get really crystal clear on it and then take that vision that your creator has and always reverse engineer it. Always. You have to reverse engineer it in order for you to be able to see the, the tipping points that you can't currently see because you're, 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 you're stuck in the starting point and, and you're trying to move forward on something that you don't have clarity on yet. So that'll completely flush itself out and reveal itself when you reverse engineer. So I hope this helps you. It's a, it's a thumbnail sketch, basically. I wanted to introduce you to the concept and to make you aware that there is a whole lot more to onboarding people and building a dream team than just how big a number the person has done before, what great references they show up at, or what school they've gone to. And, um, you know, just taking it beyond that because we're past that. We are past that small thinking of, okay, this is all there is, and this is what we have to go on, and this is what we have to make work, and getting it to the point where it's like, well, what energies are we really engaging in? Because if you're, if you're not connecting, then you're not going to have clients. If you're not moving, then those amazing visions aren't actually going to flush out and turn into growth. Or if you're not a creator, and you're not much of a visionary, which is fine. I mean, this is not about judgment, okay? It's not about making anybody wrong and saying, this is, this is the wrongness of you. In fact, it's the opposite. It's like, what's right about what we have? What's right about this organization? What is right about the people that we currently have that we haven't even tapped into yet? Because I am certain you have a lot of resources that you're sitting on but because you don't know about this tool, you haven't even considered it. Therefore, those resources are dormant. They're untapped. And I can promise you that as you discover this and you start to implement and gain this clarity, then the growth will become easier and you'll have people more able to express themselves and from that always comes joy and fulfillment and when people feel better they perform better when people are feeling good you can't shut them off you know they're just like what can i contribute today because i just love being a part of this so very much when you develop and foster that you can't shut them off so rather than using perhaps maybe like a a negative kind of driver to get them to perform let's explore what energy they bring forward in addition to what's on that resume and what you know about them so far and let's really foster it let's grow it let's create beyond this reality beyond what you haven't considered yet so look forward to seeing you again soon and thank you for subscribing and thank you so much for hitting that bell and being a part. And please comment because it actually helps me understand what kind of content that you would like me to cover. And it also helps build the channel because I guess YouTube likes that. So have a blessed day and I will see you on the other side.